Sammy, here's a, a clay ball hung from one side of a balance and a lead ball from the other. And what can you tell by looking at them right now? They're made of different compounds, but they have different volume, but they still weigh the same. Same way, exactly the same. So my question to you now is, what will happen if we take these two balls just like they are and put them under water over here in the aquarium? I think um, the lead ball would sink to the bottom and the clay ball would st stay at the top. Yeah, why? Because it would absorb the water. It doesn't make quite sense, because if it would absorb water, why wouldn't it sink? Well, after a while it would, but okay. first Not it Not quite. Uh, when you go in, a, in water, don't you feel lighter? Yeah. And you know things float in water. Yeah. That's the reason. The reason for that is that water has a buoyant effect. And the, more, the greater the volume, the more buoyancy it has, the more yeah. water it displaces. So you grab the two balls, because I'm going to lift this up and put it over there in the tank of water, and I don't want to hit the sides. Okay. Now, you say the lead ball will go down and the clay ball will be up, right? right? Aha, you were right. But, why now is it? Why is that one going up higher? Because it has a greater volume. Volume, and therefore the water is more buoyant. And if I take it out, what should happen? It would be leveled again. See if you're right. You are absolutely right. 